As nurses, we're always navigating this tumultuous sea of ever-changing emotions, from what our patients are feeling moment by moment, to whatever your staff is dealing with, and oh yeah, there's your own emotions too. So let's talk about how we can become pros at regulating our emotional state. And for that, stay with me, let's go to the refrigerator. One, treat your emotions like a sandwich in the break room fridge and put a label on them. Guys, sometimes just putting a name on your feelings can go a long way towards taking the sting out of them. Check in with yourself a few times a day and ask yourself, how am I feeling? Whether you're a little anxious or sad or frustrated, identifying your emotional state can be a quick, effective way to help you keep your emotions in check. Two, raid your fridge. When you're thinking about all the catastrophic things that could possibly happen or all the negative things that did happen, it's like you're only zeroing in on chicken that's undercooked or the pasta that's gone bad. The future hasn't happened yet and the past isn't your present reality. Remind yourself there's a lot more in your fridge. Good, healthy stuff that's available to you right now. Three, close the door. Sometimes the best way to shift your emotional state is to change your behavior or quit the way you're thinking in general. Sometimes we just gotta close the fridge door and get up and go do something different. Take a walk, tackle a project that you've been putting off for days, weeks, or months. Moving your body also moves your mind and your emotions. Would this be helpful to someone else you know? Please share it with those around you.